I want to get there before everybody else. Ever since I got the polio, it takes me extra time to warm up my legs. That bump in the is a gold mine. You know how many newsies would fake a limp sympathy? That's why they called you crutches, because they wish they had one too. Yeah, pretend is one thing, but side against the idea I can't make it on my own for real, and they'll lock me up in the refuge for good. Don't worry about nothing. I got your back. Hey, what'd you think of my latest creation? Jack, you're a regular Nicolangelo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> but how come you always draw pictures of mountains and stuff? These streets suck the life right out of my old man. Well, they ain't doing that to me. You can keep your small life in a big city. Give me a big life in a small town. Where a place where a fella can breathe. They say you know, this is dying to get here. We are dying to get away to a little town.
three weeks of the same story. They're killing us that snoozer. Make way, step aside. Dear me, what is that unpleasant aroma? I fear the sewer may have backed up during the night. Or could it be <laughs> the Delancey Brothers? Hey, Oscar, word on the streets is you and your brother took money to rough up striking trolley workers. So, it's honest work. Beaten on defenseless wokens? Got to fight for your own, am I right? I heard your old man was one of them strikers. He was. So we took care of him. What's the matter? Can't stand to be? Now that ain't not a nice thing to do to my family, boys. We ain't got no family. You know he's all my friends. And if you mess with any one of them, you mess with me. And me. Five to one, Jack Skunksell. Hey, for the newsies, line up. Good morning, Weasel. The name's is me. Wise Paul. Isn't that what I said? I'll, uh, I'll take a fusion. A hundred feet to the wise guy. <laughs> I'll take 50. 50 for race, next. Good morning, Mr. Weisel. 50 picks for Crunchy. Oh, look at this, a new kid. I need two, don't worry. Rob's right off. <laughs> I'll take 20 newspapers, please. 20 for the newbie, let's see the dime. I'll pay you after I sell them. <laughs> Funny kid, come on, cash up front. Well, whatever I don't sell, you buy back from me, right? <laughs> Kids are right, come on, pop up the cash or blow. Come on, move along. Albert, let me see your money. You have a very interesting face. Ever think of getting into the moving pictures? Think I could? Sure, buy a ticket. They let anyone in. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I paid for 20, but you only gave me 19. Beat it. No kid's right, Weasel. They gave him 19. I'm sure it's an honest mistake on account of the fact that Oscar can't count the 20 with his shoes on. <laughs> Here, now take a hike. Give 50 more pages. I don't want more papers. Who's he no more face? I'm no charity case. I don't even know you. This here is the famous Jack Kelly. He went to stay jail in the back of Teddy Roosevelt's carriage. They don't case. And I'm Casey, but you can call me Crutchy. How old are you, kid? I'm Ted. How old else? If anybody asks, you're seven. Youngest Elspeth. And we're going to be hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about being partners? So, with Jack's the chance of a lifetime. You learn from him, you learn from the best. If he's the best, what does he need with me? Because this one's mug could easily sell a thousand pages a week. Take that right question. Look sad, kid. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make millions. I'm, I'm less. And this is my brother, David. Nice to meet you, David. My two bits come off the top. Let me split everything separate. Okay. Okay. Circulation would grow. What if you give him an incentive to sell more papers? Like, like a bonus. This is 
is a business, not a charity. <laughs> These kids need to learn the value of hard work, just like I did when I was her age. I started out with nothing, and look at me now. You're a kingmaker, an inspiration, a role model for the young and destitute. This is a real life lesson in economics. In a week's time, the newsies will be working twice as hard, and they'll be twice as proud of themselves. They'll like me for this someday. Yeah, someday. The price for newsies goes up in the morning. Hurrah! Miss Meta, you're on. Kids, stay as long as you'd like. You're with 
meta now. Ready, ladies? You guys can watch the backstage. I'm going up front. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the magnificent Meta Larkin in her Bowery Brigade. Well, hi, ye ho, everybody, and welcome to my theater. Yes, sir, it's a brand new century with a brand new set of rules for women, and the Brigade and I are here to tell you all about them. Maestro, if you please. Dear Father, said I, won't you tell me? Then no one sells pigs. 
Nobody goes back to that wagon until the price goes where it belongs. You mean, like a strike? You heard the man. We're on strike. Hold on, I didn't say. We're going to shut down this place like them workers shut down them trolleys. And the cops will bust our heads. How come strikers is laden with broke bones? Cops don't care about a bunch of kids. Ain't that right, baby? We stick together. We can do anything. Well, before you can strike, you got to be a union. And a union's got to have official membership. Well, what do you call them? And officers. I nominate Jack Kelly for president. Yeah. All right, what's next? Well, if you want to strike, the membership's got to vote. OK. Do we roll over and let bullets up in our pockets? Or do we strike? Strike! strike. <laughs> the of Manhattan are now officially on strike. What's next? I guess we've got a union. Yeah! Bullets and the they think we're nothing. Are we nothing? No! Bullets and the they think they got us. Do they got us? No! Even though we ain't got caps or badges, we're a union just by saying so. Hey, that's good. Yeah. 
Well, you never said that. Oh, you didn't have to. I did. I've seen a lot of babies in my time. And I ain't never noted no girl right now I do. Well, wake up to the new century, Mr. Kelly. It's 1899. The game's changing. How about an exclusive interview? I say we say any exclusive girl will be a reporter. Look, I'm trying to do what's never been done before. Just like you and your strike. I don't know. You see someone else giving you the time of day? All right, so I'm just busting out of the social pages. But you give me the exclusive. Let me run with the story, and I promise I will get you the space. Give me a chance. You help me, and I help you. Give her a chance. She's all right. I'm with Hazel. If a girl can tell tape, why can't she write it? Yeah! yeah. All right, then. Here's your chance. You help us, we help you. Deal. Deal. Yeah! All right then, here's your story. Pulitzer and Hurst need to respect the rights of the working children of the city. They can't just change the rules whenever they feel like it. He's right. We do the work, we get a say. We've got a union. Yeah! Could we really be in the papers? If your protest shuts down a paper like the world, you are going to make the front page. All right, Ben. You want a story? Be in front of that distribution wagon, tomorrow morning, and you'll get one. Make sure your pal brings that camera. We have me. Come on, Les, I better take you back home. What are we going to talk about in public? We got just the money. I guess some things are worth going hungry for. Jack, I'll meet you here tomorrow morning to go to Brooklyn. You betcha. So, Mr. Kelly, what's your story? Working your way through art school? The drawing you did at the theater showed real talent. You kidding me? Nah, I'm just a newsie. You're not just a newsie. You're their leader. So what are your hopes for tomorrow's strike? Well, today we stopped all the newsies from carrying out the case. They still deliver to the rest of the city. So tomorrow, we stop the way. Are you scared? Do I look scared? But then again, ask me again tomorrow. Good answer. Good night, Mr. Kelly. You too. Hey, Plum. Very good. We both got a lot right in life. <laughs> you heard the man. Write it good. No pressure. With all eyes fixed on the trolley strike, there's another battle brewing in the city. And if I could just write about it. Come on, Catherine, those kids are counting on you. Oh, you poor kids. <laughs> write what you know, so they say, all I know is I don't know what to write or the right way to write it. This is big, lady, don't screw it up. This is not some little odd bill I read. Really? Poor little kids versus rich, greedy, sour. Who's this book? It was sick. You could practically write itself in less grade it does. So as I may have mentioned, I have no clue what I'm doing. Am I insane? This is what I've been waiting for. Well, that was a screaming of ten angry editors. A girl is a girl. The heck, is that a label?
case Buck hung him, right? Is Brooklyn coming? They want to prove that we're not going to fold on the first side of Trump. Are we? We're not. There's us and Harlem. Not so fast, boss. Harlem wants to know what Brooklyn's going to do. Uh, how about Queens? Queens will be right here backing us up. You see? As soon as they get the nod from Brooklyn. I got the same fish I admit down. Say, Oscar, looks like we got more information about a strike happening here today. And my skull bust in arm could use a day of rest. <laughs> are you sure we're coming to the Sure we are. Maybe we'll put this off a couple days. No. Listen.
So you kept that big mouth of yours shut. What the heck? And it wasn't you, Jack. No! 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 Look at what we've done. We're 
freaking history here. We've got newsies from every paper and every neighborhood here tonight. Yeah! yeah! Tonight we prove that we're just as much of a part of a paper as any reporter or editor. From now on, we will stop being treated like children. From now on, we will be treated as equals. Yeah! yeah! Like an adult, then you better start acting like one. And here's Jack. Jack! 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 Pulitzer raised the price of the newspaper without so much of a word to us. That was a pretty lousy thing to do. So we go on strike. Yeah! How many days can you go without making money? Believe me, Pulitzer can go longer. Mr. Pulitzer personally gave me his word that as we stay in the union, he won't raise the price of the pay for another two years. I say we take the deal. No! All we have to do is vote no on the strike. Vote no! no! Oh, you're keeping up news to keep us going? 
who could hold a hoe down in there with all we got, and more on the way. Good job. Tell me to keep quiet. It's good to have you back. Let's do this.
yourselves. What do you say, brother? I got your back, you got mine? Of course. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> 